Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create the VHS retro film look in Adobe Premiere Pro without any plugins. Uh, so I see a lot of people on YouTube, when they make tutorials like these, they say go on YouTube, search out VHS overlay, download the video and then place it over the video and change the blend mode. I don't like that because there's no originality with that. With what I'll be showing you today, you can actually change the settings and stuff like that. So you can actually customize it to your liking. So yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button. And also I'll be giving away three uh, Lightroom presets to three people who comment anything in the comment section. So if you want my Lightroom presets, just comment below and I'll contact the three winners in a week. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So right here, I have some footage from my last music video shoot. Um, I'm actually editing it, so you can see this is only part of it right there. I'm like halfway done. And I chose this clip because he kind of has like retro, I guess, clothing and it looks really cool. It matches the theme. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to search up wave warp. So this is what's going to apply like a kind of distortion effect and you can actually adjust this to your liking. So it should be under the video effects and distort so right here wave warp what you want to do is you want to go to wave type select square you want to go to wave height and keep it the same for wave width you want to make it a thousand for direction you want to make it zero degrees for wave speed you want to make it really slow so like maybe 0 0.3 uh pinning you want to set it to all edges or else it's going to be black bars you can see right there and then you're basically done so essentially what this does is it sends a little like line right here. So you can see right here, it's splitting into two. You can see basically it sends a line up. It's not really visible here. So that's what the wave warp does and you can adjust it to your liking. That's why I like it a lot better than the stuff on YouTube because those overlay clips um, are just one thing and you can't change it. The next thing you want to do is apply the RGB split effect. I actually uh, taught this in one of my videos. I showed two ways. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the description. I'll show you one quick way right now. You want to go to effects, search up VR digital glitch. Um, there's two ways. So if you want to learn the second way, you can go in the description. You can drag it onto the clip right here go to uh, distortion and then lower the distortion rate so there's no noise or anything like that and then there you have it the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add noise we're going to go to noise so let's go to noise and grain just drag on noise and then let's set it to like 33 percent yeah that's you know that's good but here you can see how it looks like you can see there's like scan lines going up and down that's sort of what the warp, uh, the wave warp does and it looks really nice. So now that I'm done this, I'm going to do some color correction. So I'm going to go ahead and do the basic stuff that I usually do, increasing contrast, you know, decreasing shadow, stuff like that. So what really helps create the film look is using curves. So what you want to do is lift this bottom right here, just lift it up to create a faded, you know, film look. You can go to creative and you can just add faded film. but. I think with the curves, it's a little bit more adjustable. You can, you know, you have more freedom. What you also want to do is go to the top as well and lower it as well. This will lower the highlights. And then whatever you do with the middle is up to you. So I'm going to make three more points. I'm going to lift this up, lift this a little bit up as well and lift this a bit down. The main thing you want to, you know, take away from this is you want to create the faded film look by moving this up and lower this down to lower the highlights. You also want to go to creative and lower the vibrance and saturation a little bit. And then, yeah, we're done. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.